Oh, now I'm going glass in the feet. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 oh no. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam. This is Zay. Today, we are getting into another movie. It's December. It's the holiday season. It's Christmas time. So we're going to start the month off. Well, we just did Dance with Wolves. It was supposed to come out a little earlier, but, you know, we had to take a break because of Thanksgiving. We're back, though, and we're going to start the holiday season off with Die Hard. <laughs> yes. And let me tell you something about Die Hard, okay? If I were to Die Hard for something, I would imagine it'd be a little something called Movie Palette. Check this out, guys. Okay, if you like movies, you have got to check this out. This is a really cool piece of movie art that gives you the essence of your favorite movie in your home. It's called Movie Palette. Movie palette is a special form of art, and here's how it works. By analyzing and identifying the dominant colors corresponding with each individual scene of your favorite movie, artists specialized in the digital world are able to craft a beautiful piece of artwork that encapsulates your cherished film as a whole. The colors are laid out in chronological order from left to right, with varying sizes corresponding to the time on screen. Yes, that's right. They take your favorite movies and transform them into amazing art. Movies speak to us. We connect with the characters, we follow along with the plot, and we soak in the script as if we were living it. Now imagine getting to take all those feelings of entertainment like no other and putting them on a canvas to engage with, to speak to you, and to admire in your home. I got a movie palette of one of my top favorite movies of all time, Avatar. Whenever I see it, I remember scenes from the movie as if they were playing in front of my eyes, and that's what it can do for you. It can say, remember that action scene? Remember that love scene? Remember the laughter, the array of emotions you had during this movie? Or maybe you just want one that works best for your home. With Movie Palette's wide collection to choose from and the ability to create custom palettes, the opportunities are endless. Personally, I'm still browsing for one that works best for me, and I can't wait to get my hands on one. And don't forget to use the coupon code CAMANZA15 at checkout. That's C-A-M-A-N-D-Z-A-Y-1-5 to get 15% off. And guys, by supporting Movie Palette, you're supporting us as well. So don't miss out on this incredible piece of artwork and, and get, get yourself, yourself a Movie, movie Palette, palette today. today. Yeah, guys, check them out. They're a really cool company. They're our sponsor. Thank you, Movie Palette. Now, there's not much I know about this movie. There's not much that you know about this movie, Zay. But there is something that we are aware of. This movie is debatably a Christmas movie. Now, some of you guys out there are saying, what are you talking about? This is a Christmas movie. While the others out there are saying, no, this is certainly not a Christmas movie. It takes place at Christmas time and that's it. Well, how much of that is true? We're about to find out, make the decision for ourselves, but we do know it's debatably a Christmas movie. So better to get it in early in the season then towards Christmas. So we're going to start the holiday season off with Die Hard. I'm super excited. We do have some other movies planned, like It's a Wonderful Life and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. There are other movies out there for the holiday season that you guys suggest. Put it down in the comments and we'll take a look at it. That being said, Zay, before we get into it, is there anything else that you're aware of uh, that you want to bring up? Um, the only thing I know is Bruce Willis is in this. Um, mm -hmm. I've never actually, I've heard about this movie several times. It's actually, I think my uncle's favorite movie or like one of his favorite movies and like favorite kind of like series. I think there's multiple, if I'm not mistaken, like there's three of them, maybe. I think there's a lot of them. I don't know. How maybe there's many. more. I don't know how many there is. I thought I've heard of live free or die hard, or, but I, I've I heard, oh, yeah, I've heard another different movie or something, but I, there's I, at least I'm three I know there's, of. There's a good amount. I think so, there's four, but I could be wrong. Fair enough. There's well, a lot. Well, there's a lot. And so that's really all I know about this movie. So I'm super excited to get into it. I love exploring new content that I've never gotten to see, but I've gotten to hear about. So I'm ready. Yeah. Now, there is something I am aware of about this character. I'm going to have Zay take his headphones off real quick, just because I don't know if it'll spoil anything. And it's up to you guys to determine whether it's a spoiler or not. But I'm aware that this character doesn't die easily. Does he die at the end of this story? I don't know. I imagine not because there's Die Hard 2, 3, 
however many there are, and they could be taking place with different characters. But I am aware that this character is notoriously, infamously, or just famously known for not dying easily. I could be completely wrong with what I know, and I'll find out when I watch this movie, but I want to let you guys know what I am aware of before we get into it. So you can put your headphones back on. Given this is a Bruce Willis movie and it's an action, we, uh, we're pretty well aware there's going to be some explosions and things like that, some, probably some gun stuff going on, and super excited to get into it. I did see the Twin Towers on the cover, so I'm not sure how much of this involves the Twin Towers, but it'll definitely be interesting okay. to see a movie that may have a heavy involvement with the Twin Towers, because this yeah. was a 1980s movie. Not exactly mm -hmm. sure on the year, but... 84 yeah. maybe it was either 84 or 88 i think all right well let's uh not keep you guys waiting any longer if you guys like what you're watching leave a like down below subscribe to stay tuned for more and help us reach 10,000 subscribers by april why april well because april will be the end of our first year of doing reactions and it would be crazy cool to hit a number like that by then yeah if you want to watch a full-length reaction to this you can check it out on patreon with that being said, let's not keep you guys waiting any longer. Die hard. Want to know the secret to surviving air travel? Don't do it. After you get where you're going, <laughs> Don't take again. off your shoes and your socks. Then you walk around on the rug barefoot and make fists with your toes. What? What the fuck is that supposed to do? <laughs> I know, I know. It sounds crazy. Trust me, I've been doing it for nine years. Yes, sir. Better than a shower and a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> what are you talking about? This man's drunk. Who gave him <laughs> so many drinks on the plane? <laughs> oh. It's okay, I'm a cop. Cops? Carry guns on planes? Trust me. Yeah. I've been doing this for 11 I years. I thought that was just air marshals. I mean, probably changed after that, all like the events that have taken place in history, but... Have a Merry um, Christmas, she said. Die hard. <laughs> have a merry christmas die hard <laughs> just insane <laughs> cut <laughs> damn why'd you come with him man what's up I'm a yes, lot of questions got a six month backlog in new york scumbags i'm still trying to put behind bars uh, mm. in other words you thought she wasn't gonna make it out here and she'd come crawling up back to you so why bother the back right? <laughs> that he the just fuck i said <laughs> just <laughs> psh, just punches him right across yeah, the face so <laughs> oh oh he was right oh huh? So if it doesn't work out, man, you got a place to stay? I'll find a place. What a badass. He's just got that look. Put in the parking garage and I'll yeah. wait. You score, you give me a call on the car phone. I'll take your bags to the desk. You strike out. guy's a nice dude. You're all right, Argyle. Just remember that when you sign for the tip. That's called customer freaking service, baby. Hey. That's why Argyle is Argyle. Yeah, he knows how to rock it. Damn. Oh, she put her oh. name on there. She must have. That must be her maiden name, I'm guessing. Oh. oh. I was just making a call. Uh, I don't know R about that. <laughs> I was just making a call. <laughs> just... Someone's having themselves a little white Christmas. If you ask me. Your nose is bleeding. <laughs> no. <laughs> just Michelle. dry air. Said you missed some. John. Oh. Oh. You didn't miss my name though, huh? Are oh, they split? Yeah, oh, maybe but she did. Okay. Checks. Wow. Yeah. Is this when did you start using Ms. Gennaro? Yeah. Uh oh. A Japanese company. They figure a married woman's got. You are a married woman, Holly. So You're married to. Oh, me. they are still married, but they're no. separated. We I never had finished this conversation an in July. I had yeah, to take right. it. No matter what the consequences. But he said you're married to me. Yeah. Separated doesn't mean divorce. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you were uh, uh, implying No, they're just physically divorce. separate. It's like a long yeah. distance kind of thing. Mr. Takagi is looking for you. He, he wants you to say something to the troops. Thank you. How, how would you feel about that? If your girlfriend <laughs> became your wife and then she didn't use your name for a specific job, would you be cool with it? She better be making a lot of fucking money. <laughs> Over to AC, to magic, then back to worthy, right? Oh, damn! What? 
That was a great distraction. Oh, fuck! That was the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen. Yo, they shit. They didn't. They fucking took no time. They like, all right, we're going in and we're gonna kill this guy. Like, all right, how are we gonna do this? He's like basketball. He just starts talking. <laughs> he oh goes like, gosh. okay. Oh no. Okay. Oh man. Well, I mean, that doesn't do much. I can. I've walked up and down plenty of escalators. <laughs> you never got stuck on an escalator. <laughs> it stops moving. Shit. What the fuck do I do now? <laughs> Honey, call call the fire department. <laughs> They'll get us out of here, don't worry. So maybe it wasn't the Twin Towers. Maybe it was just this. Maybe I, I just got uh, confused. Bro, this stuff, this ramped up to 100 real quick. Yeah, like who are these individuals? No backstory. We just, we're getting right into it. What did they want? Money, probably? Probably Takagawa's got some money. I think it's Takagi. Yep. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> I'm not racist. I just thought that was his name. <laughs> Shit. We both took Japanese. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, That's Jeffrey Dahmer on his team. They're definitely oh my god. <laughs> Yo, they got a whole crew of killers now. <laughs> yeah, they got oh, a crew. Fuck. Damn. <laughs> This is insanity. Oh, damn, yo, he's all about the railing. Oh, my, he's doing, he's doing the, the, the toe fists. Why? Because the guy said it. Well, <laughs> don't you say that it's good, because I'll do it right now and find out. Damn. Damn, Damon, calm down. Oh my god! <laughs> this is a superstar lineup, dude. It's great because everyone is gonna get. Most people probably get these references too. <laughs> Nowadays, with all the shows and everything. Back here. Hello. What's the, uh, those were, were just, those the phone lines. Yeah, I think so. You imagine turning uh, around and seeing yo. that coming out of the <laughs> elevator? I'm out, yo. I don't care how high the jump is. I'm gonna fucking take someone's jacket and hope it works as a wingsuit or something. <laughs> just. Who did they you shoot? Only, you only have a pistol, bro. I would not Are they be... just going to shoot everybody? Oh, yeah, they're shooting, shooting in the air. air. Yeah. Okay. What um, the shit? What? All right, just shoot the missile. Take everybody out, but it neutralizes the situation. I don't know if that's the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, their choices are slim. So. I need the code key. Because I am interested in the six hundred and forty million dollars in negotiable bearer bonds. Oh, fuck! And the computer That's control. a lot of money. Six hundred forty mil. Shit! What kind of terrorist are you? <laughs> they want money. Mm -hmm. The money Who said kind. We were terrorists. <laughs> well, the you're causing terror. terror. Yeah. <laughs> so, thus, by. By definition, <laughs> you, you are very much a terrorist. Sit down. I am <laughs> sitting down. All right. I need to teach you some language. <laughs> the seven safeguards on our vault and the code key is only one of them. You'll never get it open. And then there's no reason not to tell it to us. Ooh. Logically, he has a point. <laughs> Logically, he does. I'm going to count to three. Oh, fuck. There will not be a four. One. Five, seven, eight, one, five, seven, eight, seven, seven, one. Nine, two, three. Yeah, like he's, like he's gonna, like he's gonna fuck up a count. Fuck, where I'm was I? You, I'll start from one again. Okay. Oh! oh! We do it the hard way. Tony, see if you can dispose of that. Carl, you better go and check on Heinrich's work up on the machine floor. Yo, he did it. Uh oh. <laughs> You heard the shots. You calling the police right now? <laughs> the seventh lock, the electromagnetic seal. You do understand the circuits cannot be cut locally. Trust me. What are you gonna do? Oh, that might be what the missile's for. Oh. Oh, the fire alarm. We've got a fire alarm. 
call 911. What? Give them the guard's name, the building code number, and cancel the alarm. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I'm like, what? <laughs> call 911. There's a fire. <laughs> we need to get this sorted out. <laughs> uh. What is it? It's the it's the oh, fire the department and everything. Yeah. Well, oh, they're gonna turn well, around. Hold on. They? No, relax. Yeah, yeah. Look. But motherfuckers, no, no. Yeah. Turn the fucking truck around. You don't have a cell phone. I guess. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Take him out. Oh, Brim. They they sent Jeffrey up on this bitch. Come on, we're gonna party. Party already. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. Peekaboo. Drop it, dickhead. Ah. Uh, police. You won't hurt me. Oh, yeah. Blow his head off and then show him otherwise. You're a policeman. <laughs> there are rules for policemen. Yeah. Not today. That's what my captain <laughs> keeps telling me. <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's gonna alert people. Oh, fuck. And he wasted half the damn, damn clip. Oh. Fuck! Oh! You guys are gonna- Oh my god! Well, this is just- This is not going well. Okay, what are you gonna do? You got him. Oh man, yeah, he's uh, he looks dead. Take his shoes so you don't have to keep walking around barefoot. Take the gun. Or, I guess he- I guess maybe it makes you quieter, too, though. We have left nothing to chance. <laughs> That's cold, bro. Oh my gosh. Unknown number of terrorists, six or more armed with automatic weapons at Nakatomi Plaza. That's the best place to transmit. Somebody answer me, goddammit. The roof. Go, go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Damon. Did we lose Damon and Dahmer at first? <laughs> Attention, whoever you are. This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. Do you not hear what I just fucking hey, no, said? Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's what I said. Like saying. a quarter of pizza. <laughs> this is a reserved channel. If this is an emergency call, dial nine one one on your telephone. Motherfucker, you dial nine one one. An FCC yeah. violation. Yeah. Report me. Come the fuck down here and arrest yes! me. Send the police now. Oh shit. I'd be, I'd be holding. Oh, what does that sound like? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Was that loud? Those are machine guns. <laughs> Oh, well, all right, that's the movie. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. wow. <laughs> See if there's a black and white that can do a drive-by. Uh, are is she delusional? Yo. <laughs> Yo, I could I'd be like, after I succeed in saving the day, I'd find her and be like, wait, who is it? <laughs> like, what one of you was it? <laughs> come here. <laughs> Just come here. Oh man. How many how many clips? Oh my gosh. Mm, buddy. You have a lot of faith. I could never. You have a lot of faith that you don't accidentally. Wait, 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 wait. Take the gun somehow. Yeah. Wrap the strap. Oh, he's using the strap of the gun. I see. Yeah. Oh, yo. That's fucked. Come on. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, oh my god, <laughs> oh my jeez Louise. Well, he had, was, yeah, I thought that was a wrap, yo. I was like, that's it, yeah, it's just going to be banging back and forth all the way down. So he had a machine gun, now he does not. Oh, damn. Yeah. Maybe let's not move ever again. Uh oh. Oh, that's so genius of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got it. You got it. You can get it. Yep, you can get him from here. Call, call the police. Mahlo's call the police. Bro, you can get him from here. Well, then you got to worry about his buddies. Yeah. Okay. Damn, yo. That was close. Yeah, just take a minute, man. I'll just relax for a minute. Like, yeah. you, you need a breather. 
We had that false alarm, you know. They asked me that goddamn computer sent you out on another wild goose chase. You don't mind if I take a look around, do you? No, nah, help yourself. Damn, he's good. This fucking... Hey, motherfucker, jump it! Oh! Put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down. Oh no, oh no. Oh damn. Now the, now the cops oh, got to here. What the? Ninja roll. Yeah. Next time you have a chance to kill someone, don't hesitate. Oh, shouldn't have said that. Oh. Okay, damn. All right, the whole Next magazine? Place. Damn. Oh, badass line. Everything here is okay. Over. But nobody has me. Come on, come on. Just shoot the gun. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh, whoa! Damn! Damn. God damn it, fingers ain't crap! <laughs> Welcome to the party, pal! You better get back on that radio. <laughs> Yo. Our guy's the man. God damn it, now! Yeah! Stop reversing, stop. I hope, he's okay. I hope he's okay. I thought I told all of you I want radio silence until further. Oh, I'm very sorry, sorry, Hans. I didn't get that message. Maybe you should have put it on a bulletin board. Damn! Just another American who saw too many movies as a child. Another orphan of That's a cool statue. culture who thinks he's John Wayne. I am the movie. <laughs> I am. I was always kind of partial to Roy Rogers, actually. Uh. Really like those sequin shirts. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Mr. Cowboy? Wow. Original. Okay, motherfucker. Oh, is that where that came from? Maybe. I have no idea. I've heard yippee ki motherfucker, all the time, I'm pretty sure. Huh. You don't want to give me a truck? I'll go and I'll steal a truck. Hey, give us a break, Thornburg. Eat it, Harvey. Four, three... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, another character with a great yeah, stare. A great stare. That's great. That was great. Can you identify yourself? Not now. Maybe later. Yeah. We must find the bag, Fritz. Go ahead, Lily. We must have the detonators. Missiles, automatic weapons, and enough plastic explosives to orbit Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Roy. All right. He's killed one terrorist for sure, and he claims he's capped off two others. He claims. Powell, has it occurred to you he could be one of the terrorists pulling your chain? What is everyone thinking is going on with some of these pulling chains? Tonight, Los Angeles has joined the sad and worldwide fraternity of. Other guys in the background staring at him still. <laughs> After what he said, this radio station. Terrorism. Approximately two what is this man doing? Is he just getting hammered? With the bear, <laughs> yeah. Seize control of the Nakatomi building. He's having a very Christmas. All entrances and exits. All telephone lines have been cut. <laughs> going in. Going in? Man, that's crazy. There yeah. could be over 30 hostages in there for all we know. Yeah. Right. If there's hostages, how come nobody's come to us with ransom demands? Bro, this guy needs to be fired. Fired. Somebody shot your car up. It's probably the same silly son of a bitch you've been talking to on that radio. Oh, my God. <laughs> but what about the body that fell out the window? Well, who knows? It's probably some stockbroker got depressed. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> he, they've made one of the most dislikable characters <laughs> ever. <laughs> what an idiot! Ah, he probably got depressed. They used yeah. hell hostage, so he just jumped out the window. <laughs> <That's> so absurd. <laughs> Ever thought of that, Powell? <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> so unbelievable. <laughs> so unbelievable. If you are what I think you are, then you'll know when to listen, when to shut up, and and when to pray. Hold on to your fucking heads. <laughs> well, I told you what kind of people you're dealing with here. All right, let's load them up. Blue oh go. My gosh. That's insane. They're shooting at him. Oh, really? <laughs> Captain Obvious. They're shooting at the lights. 
Powell's the only one that has half a brain. Yeah, they're shooting at the lights, you they're stupid moron. They're going after moron. the lights. Hold them back. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Powell <laughs> to chief and can fire this Come prick. Come here. Yeah, Powell grabs by the back of the deck. Listen to me. <laughs> There's a whole operation. They got like drilling into the floor. Oh, yeah. oh, it's a launcher. Perfect. Dude, this seems about to go boom. Oh, you yeah. stupid mother! Damn! Looks like they shot the RV with a rocket launcher. Silly rabbit. <laughs> he said, <laughs> hit it again. He said, get them out of the car. Really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fucking MacGyver. Run, little motherfucker. <laughs> Run, motherfucker. He does. There, go, 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 don't shoot. Yeah, what the There's the artillery on us. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> Fucking dickhead cop outside is like, it looks like they're using artillery now. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Bro, that was like a fucking mini nuke. Seriously. I didn't think it would be that. That's strong, but good lord. I've got a hundred people down here and they're covered with glass. Whoa. Glass? Who gives a shit about glass? Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this is Deputy Chief of Police Dwayne T. Robinson. Well, you're losing your job tomorrow. <laughs> I promise you. Come up here, then look like you're in charge of jack shit. You listen to me, you little asshole. <laughs> I'm a asshole. I'm not the one who just got butt fucked on national TV. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Quit being part of the fucking problem and put the other guy back on. Damn. Oh, we'll be having words when you get down here. <laughs> I negotiate million dollar deals for breakfast. I think I can handle this Euro trash. Oh, he's about to get his ass kicked. The guy upstairs is fucking things up, huh? <clears throat> I can give him to you. Oh, really? Oh, How he's gonna... That? Cause he's gonna snitch on who she is, I bet. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, that's fucked. Mr. Officer John McLean of uh -oh. the New York Police Department. Uh oh. A very special friend who was with you at the party tonight. <laughs> oh, he's he's pissed. He knows. Okay, mm -hmm. it's not her. Oh no. Oh, okay. Okay. No one gets out of here until these guys can talk to the L.A. police, and that just ain't gonna happen until you stop messing up the works, capiche? Ugh. He's like, you're dying with them. <laughs> <laughs> I told him we were old friends, and you were my guest at the party. Ellis, you shouldn't be doing this. Tell me about it. Huh? But I got a coke out of it, so come on. <laughs> He's losing. He's <laughs> so losing. <laughs> He's like, not the coke I was looking for, looking but for. the one I needed. <laughs> but don't worry. I got some lined up on my <laughs> other lapel. I tell these guys where the detonators are so no one else gets hurt. You know, I'm putting my life on the line for you, pal. Well, it's not my friend. I just met him tonight. I don't know him. Jesus Christ, Ellis, these people are going to kill you. Tell them you don't know me. John, how can you say that after all these years, huh? Oh. John. What the I would just keep doing what I was doing. Be like, you reap what you sow, buddy. You just, you're screwed. <laughs> yes. Dumb ass. Good thing he didn't give her away. Yeah. I mean, relatively noble, I guess. He sacrificed himself trying to make it work. Talk to me. Where are my detonators? He wasn't sacrificing himself. I know. I just, I tried to see the good in him. Just... someone you do care about. Go fuck yourself, Hans. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's like pulling the trigger Christ, yourself. man. Oh, can you shut up? 
He did everything he could to save him. If he gave himself up, they'd both be dead right oh, now. No way, man. No way. They'd be talking to us. Oh my god, he's delusional. Following people are to be released from their captors. In Northern Ireland, the seven members of the new Provo Front. In Canada, the five imprisoned leaders of Liberté de Québec. This is what he wants. The nine mm -hmm. members of the Asian Dawn. What the fuck? I read about them in Time magazine. <laughs> the hostages in this building will be taken to the roof and they will accompany us in helicopters to the Los Angeles International Airport. You have two hours to comply. How many helicopters do they have? Right. I think they'll even try to do it. Who cares? What do you mean? Oh, is he stalling? I was going to say, it gives them two hours for them to keep working on the locks. Yeah. Looks like this last one's going to take a miracle. It's Christmas, Theo. It's the time of miracles. They just do want the money. By this time, the hostages should be going through the early stages of the Helsinki Syndrome. Helsinki, Sweden. Finland. <laughs> 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 oh, what? Oh, <laughs> Twinkle Toes is here. Oh. Why don't you kiss Hi these there. dogs, buddy? <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, shit. Uh, no, you're one of them, aren't you? You're one of them. Oh. <laughs> No, please! Don't kill me, don't kill me, please! Oh, he's trying. Relax, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you! Uh-oh. He's faking it. Just trying to get up on the roof, and See if I could signal for help. <sighs> it's just from here. Why, do, why don't you come in and help? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Forget the please roof. Come on, come on. I said forget the roof. I got oh. people all over. Oh. He's going for the gun. Oh, his gun was over. Stay alive, you stay with me. This is wild. Bro, that was, this is cool, okay. You don't work for Nakatomi. I'm just wondering if he's gonna bum rush him. Well, yeah, like, well, yeah, I'm curious what is in here. I'm a cop from New York. Do you think he knows? I'm John McClane. You're, uh... Clay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. Uh. Ain't no Bill. C oh, William Clay. No. Maybe. He no, he doesn't Does know. He There's no shot he knows and would give him a gun. What? Unless it's not loaded. Oh, he's gonna see if he shoots him. I bet you it's not loaded. I gotta do is pull the trigger. Come on. Oh, he saw. Yeah, he must have emptied it out, right? Yeah, I bet you it's empty. That's like. And he's gonna try him. And then he's gonna turn around and be like, "Ha, gotcha!" Yep. Come. Yeah. Oh, look, he's so he's he knows he knows. Put down the gun and give me my detonators. Oh, you fool! I used all the explosives, but did I? Oh, damn! Oh. Oops. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh! oh. Fucking stupid, Hans. <laughs> You're saying? Oh, shit. <laughs> that dude just stuck it out the elevator with like. Fucking. Homie has like an MG. Damn. Mm. Ah. Oh. oh. If he's not dead, he's knocked out cold. <laughs> he's good lord. Shoot the glass. Yeah, make it hard. <laughs> he's like, he's like, do I have to spell it out for you? <laughs> Damn, yo, this this is insane. Yep, yep, making it really hard. Uh-oh. Hockey puck. <laughs> Forbidden Oreo. What? God, that man looks really pissed. Oh, I you don't jail. say. 
<laughs> you fucking <laughs> shut up, yo wench. <laughs> yeah, that's how Only she knows. Only John can drive somebody that crazy. You should be my ex-husband. <laughs> Benny, talk about crazy. <laughs> Oh my oh, god, man. I had an accident. I shot a kid. Oh. He was 13 years old. Damn. You know, when you're a rookie, they can teach you everything about being a cop except how to live with a mistake. Oh my gosh. Wow. Anyway, I just couldn't bring myself to draw my gun on anybody again. Sorry, man. Hey, man, how could you know? Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. That's the FBI. They're ordering the others to cut the building's power. Regular as clockwork. Fuck you. Circuits that cannot be cut are cut automatically in response to a terrorist. If you ask for miracles, dear, I give you... The oh, because if they turn yeah. off the freaking power, then the electromagnetic seal won't have its circuits going so they can open it. So he basically banked on them getting here to have to, to make those calls. That's insane. It's gonna go. It's gonna go! What if there's nothing in there? That'd be the greatest plot what twist of John all time. What if John McClane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just... Oh, damn, yo. Yeah. If, it, if they can get the power back on and lock them inside, that would be awesome. Yeah. The bastards are probably pissing in their pants right now. <laughs> no, they're, they're pissing in their pants of how happy they are. Look at him. He just skipped over to this. Damn. Damn. I mean, good lord. He really... His foot was really sliced up. Shit. I want you to find my wife. Don't ask me how. By then you'll know how. Tell her that, um... That she's the best thing that ever happened to a bum like me. Wow. She's heard me saying I love you a thousand times. She never heard me say I'm sorry. Damn. Damn. You got that, man? Yeah, I got it, John. Damn, man. But you can tell her that yourself. Yeah! That's what I was waiting for. Just watch your ass and you'll make it out of there, you hear me? Hey! Oh, Got so it. Many goosebumps. Love when characters do that. When there's a character that gives that supportive talk like that. Yeah. Oh, you can tell yourself. Self. You're not going anywhere. Oh, yep. Damn, that shit's gonna blow the whole building up. Yeah, they're gonna take out the whole shit. It's a double cross. The whole roof of the building fired. John. Please tell me you got some of that, pal. Did you get that? Uh, some of that a double cross. <laughs> well, what were you listening to? Fucking white noise in your goddamn head? <laughs> this is personal. Oh, damn. How do you get out of this? Oh, oh, oh damn. Okay, damn. that's how. Damn! You know, your mom and dad are very important people. Very oh, important. you gotta be fucking joking me. You piece of shit, radio idiot, stupid bitches, ugly mother! Oh my oh, god! Oh no! Mrs. McLean. No! No! Plan us to make your acquaintance. Oh! 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 Two. Oh! 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 I broke his fucking neck! Oh my god! Oh, god. <laughs> I love the 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 savageness in this film. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. He got shot. He got shot. Right in the upper right shoulder. Ah, damn! That was a <laughs> smart play. Get high ground and kill you. Oh, I'm gonna fucking cook you. <laughs> All right, hold on, John. John, let's not get crazy here. No, that's the point, yo. Oh, you lost. Oh, oh you're game over. He's hanging. Game over. Damn, you're a Monsters Inc. door now. It's fucking over. <laughs> Damn, that's it. 
Look at him, he's like, I'm out, peace. Oh. Oh, he's, yo, John McClane's at fucking savage crazy level. Hey, Tucker! Where? The vault! Where is the vault? The 30th floor! Good thing she was involved. The whole fucking room is oh, they're gonna think it's him. Get the fuck down, Stan. They made us, Bureau. You got a terrorist shooting yeah, hostages. Yeah. 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 No, they, they didn't. No, yeah. he did shooting hostages. You dumb. Oh my well, god. Okay, at this point, I can't blame them for thinking. No, I know. I mean, except for his aim is into the sky, and he's saying, "Get out now." Well, I guess they think he's crossing them and not laying on the roof. Okay, yeah, where did he jump to? On your side, you assholes! I, it, it, you don't look like it. I gotta give him, I gotta yeah. give credit where credit's due. You look like a terrorist right now. You look like, yeah, you look crazy. <laughs> no shot. No shot. Blow the roof. The car's up there! Blow the roof! What a shot! That was a cool shot. Damn. Oh, 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 my gosh. That's knock, knock, motherfuckers. Yeah. Oh, now more glass in the feet. Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, no. Oh man, put your hits to, on the beams, on the beams, on the beams, on the beams, on the beams. You split. Oh my goodness. This man is an absolute savage maniac. Damn, yo. Damn. Oh, their helicopter got. Oh shit. Oh my gosh! I didn't realize their helicopter like really got caught in the blast. Oh my Dude, god! Crisp. <laughs> oh, totally forgot about Argyle. Oh shit! Argyle, Stop do me. not move. Oh, what? Okay. what? <laughs> hey, <laughs> you want him to die? <laughs> no, but maybe he can. You know, he can't stop that. Uh, Argyle. What are you doing? Is he gonna pin them? So they can't move. <laughs> Damn! Ooh! What a savage! Run, run, run. Beat his ass, Argyle. Oh, now oh, he, yeah, he's he... going in. Yeah. He's like, get over here. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You dweeb. Come here. He broke his glasses too. Knocked him Look the fuck out. <laughs> oh. Ah! oh my gosh! You created a monster. Kill his wife, he'll evolve to something way worse. He's gonna grow like spines out of his back and <laughs> literally eat you. He said he's gonna cook you the first time, or cook the other guy the first time. Why'd you have to nuke the whole building, Hans? They will find you unless they think you're already dead. Put down the gun. So, so clever. Uh, yeah, so genius. He got me. What? Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's gone crazy. I'd be like, he might eat this bullet if I shoot him. Maybe I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ah! Damn! Damn! Now that's a cowboy. He trails, Hans. Oh. Wait, no, he's yanking. He's yanking. Hold, hold, on. On. hold on, hold on. Grab, hold your, on. grab your wife, 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 grab your wife. Oh, he's unclipping the Rolex. Uh 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 uh. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Okay. Bye bye. Oh, I hope that's not a hostage. Oh. I assure you, it's Hans Scooter. Oh, there we go. Damn. Very quiet hit. <laughs> what? Expected to be a little louder. Well, like slippery Hans. I'd be like, go clean up. <laughs> Let's get you clean. You're bleeding everywhere. You're damn. Look at that. Look at all that money.
and all that like just, uh, just imagine wild. being dude i wouldn't be surprised to see the news reporters they see these bear bonds are probably like <laughs> <laughs> six hundred thousand. i can quit Look, I would be a civilian outside. I'd be snatching those puppers up. <laughs> yeah, but how are you going to explain that to? I'm running anybody? away. Nah, <laughs> don't matter. Explain it. They'll think I'm dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hey, there it is. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. Wife, Holly, Holly, Holly McClain. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. What? He was hung for minutes on end. Ow! Powell? It was Powell, wasn't it? Please. He, he said he never wanted to draw a gun. Damn. Please be Powell. Give me the biggest chills of my life. Yes, come on, show it down the barrel of gun. Yes, sir. Hey, let's go. Okay, yeah, there you go. Yeah, and then oh, Argyle. Don't shoot him, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. No, 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 please, yeah, no, now, hold on, pal. This was with me. <laughs> that it's all over after this incredible ordeal. What are your feelings? <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew she was gonna deck him. I knew it, bro. Cause she saw the interview shit. Yes, that's great. That's so satisfying. Here yeah, Christmas, I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> oh my goodness. Argyle, there is there is sixteen empty bottles back here. What the fuck have you been doing for the all these? <laughs> and the, <laughs> even the bear has liquor in its mouth. <laughs> Were you guys both drinking? No, let us know, let us know. It doesn't show signs of stopping. All right, here are the credits. So we're going to see if there's a post-credit scene. We're going to chill while the credits roll. And uh, if there's not, time for the post-movie commentary. No post-credit scene. All right, that was our reaction to Die Hard. If you guys liked what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full length reaction to this and various other movies, you can check it out on Patreon. You will need a copy to watch along with us. Initially, man, that was a fun action movie. That was yeah. done right. That was amazing. I had a, a blast. And John McClane is a crazy badass. I he's enjoyed, nuts. Yeah, he's <laughs> nuts. I enjoyed this movie so much. This was a great two hours and 12 minutes or, or around that time. It was a, 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 a amazing, fun time. And before we get more into it, I just want to ask you, was this a Christmas movie? Bro, the only thing Christmas about this movie was the time and some of the music. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> Everyone's like, it's a Christmas. When so, I see a Christmas would you movie, you say yes or no? It is based during Christmas time. <laughs> would I? Would I sit down with with little with little JJ and little <laughs> to watch this as the family? I'm gonna fucking cook you and eat you. Just want to eat you alive. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about that screams Christmas, <laughs> but I think that I think it's funny. I, I'm so again, I'm surprised that people debate on whether or not it's a Christmas movie. It's not your traditional Christmas movie, so I give, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. If you think so it's a Christmas you, movie, it's not traditional. It is or isn't. If you had to pick, you had to pick a side right now. Is it or is it not? A Christmas Technically, movie? it is. It's Christmas time, Christmas decorations, Christmas party. They talk about Christmas, Christmas music. Technically, it's a Christmas movie. But like I said, would I sit down with my baby cousins and be like, let's watch this? They'd be like, wait, can we watch Rudolph? And I say, we're watching <laughs> Bruce Willis and Die Hard, and you're going to like it. <laughs> or he's going to yeah. come and eat you. So I agree. I agree. So. This, is, this is a Christmas movie, and it is, in my opinion, is the, probably the most hardcore Christmas movie <laughs> of there. all time. Christmas was a theme of the movie everything took place during christmas it was a christmas party we had christmas mm -hmm. music christmas decorations christmas lines this was a christmas movie 
And I'd love to hear the thoughts of you guys that don't think it's a Christmas movie. Leave some comments down below and try to convince us of otherwise. Zay seemed way more on the fence than I did. After this movie, I'm like, yeah, that is for sure. It's just a very unorthodox Christmas type movie. It's not what you would sure. pick. When you say Christmas movie, that's never what anyone would ever picture. They wouldn't but picture. But in a weird sense, it did have the holiday spirit. It did. Oh, it yeah. did. So it did. They honestly, they should have really ended it off with him coming down with a Santa Claus hat. Would have been great <laughs> to really cap it off. Like that would have been hilarious. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been funny. But yeah, again, amazing film, amazing directing. The acting was, was awesome. The action shots were beautiful. In my opinion, this goes down as a classic action film. Definitely. a. Uh, I don't know if I would say it's a founding father of action films. Cause I, I haven't seen all the action films, uh, you know, earlier on uh in, in filmmaking compared to what i've seen but mm -hmm. this one right here is just like action at its core like this is what i think about when i think about an action movie was the whole like mm, yes i'm a terrorist mm, give me your money yeah. was that all pretty you know cliche maybe yeah. maybe for its time it started the cliche oh, you know what true. i'm saying maybe it wasn't true, true. as cliche as it was at the time but it worked, and that's all you need from an action movie is just a, a fun little cliche villain, a uh, crazy nutty action hero, and a wild circumstance, and boom, you've got yourself a great action movie as long as you've got good action and good lines in between. But like that's like the backbone, right? And I think they did it very, very well. I appreciated what it was done. I thought this had some of the coolest lines from an action movie, just really fun. I'm going to cook you and eat you. yippee ki yeah. motherfucker. All that stuff was super cool and extremely quotable. Zay, what are your thoughts? Yeah, this was just, man, it's been a minute since you got to watch like a really, really fun, like that was just like a fun action movie. Like you said, just something to sit down, just some popcorn, just be like, let's just watch somebody fuck shit up for yeah. two hours. And yeah. that's, and even in the start was like, it was like, it was a great start to it. Like, you know, obviously Cam and I insert our comedy into it as well, but it was like the beginning was like super relaxed and enjoyable. And then it just boom, just Zero from a hundred. As soon as those first that first guy came in and shot the front desk, immediately everything was on tilt. Like, oh, like now we're getting into it. Like they warmed you up. Oh, yeah, here's this character, here's this guy, here's this. And now, all right, let's get to where we want to get to. All right. Takeoff is ready. Um, I thought the the villain was done super well. I liked Hans a lot. I was a very big fan of his character. I was even a fan of um even some of the like, the smaller villain characters, like the one whose brother died. Um, you know, that, um, and they, they just were there. They did well overall with the villains and having these supporting characters around Hans. Um, I love the engagement between McLean and Hans. I thought those were dope, especially with the radio, with the police getting to also be in it. So it's like every interaction between who, if it's, if it's hot, if it's a uh, McLean and Powell, and that means Hans can hear it and all the guys with radios, if it's Hans and McLean going, that means the police can hear it. So it's like, Oh, it's like, it was just a really cool, um, dynamic, dynamic that was created. Yeah. Between all these characters, you have the police on the outside, the people on the inside and man, they, again executed the the action and the lines were, were freaking great like you said the just overall man what a blast i had a great time i i enjoyed that movie thoroughly that was great yeah yeah i think also i want to give a little bit of a shout out to ellis that like the acting was done very well to make me like really annoyed by him you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like to to be able to perform like that and to really get the audience at least me and i'm guessing you as well to really get like oh this little scummy scumbag <laughs> like you it means you did a good job at acting so right i i uh i thought he did really well as well honestly john mcclain was badass and uh you know we got to see some emotional depth of him and his you know inner thoughts about his wife and his, mm -hmm. you know, not being able to tell her things like "I'm sorry" and "fucking up" and whatnot. And that was really, really cool to see. But nothing in this movie hit harder emotionally than when we learned that Powell had accidentally shot a kid. Yeah. It, what a what an un like this story still could have been a great action story without including that. So I don't want to use the word unnecessary, but it it elevated the story to to such a higher level by adding that much more depth into the character 
I thought it was a brilliant touch that they that they included that because at yeah. the end of the day, really, in my opinion, this movie could have flowed very well without um, the, those two really emotional moments between uh, Powell yeah. and uh, John. But by putting it in there, it elevated the movie for me and the story for me so much more because we got to see this extra depth, this extra dimension behind the characters. And it really kind of, it got like the movie was serious because of the situation, but like that, that took it to a whole new level. And, and I really not to mention, that. not to mention the end where he finally does raise his gun. Again, he even said, I don't, I decide I could never raise a gun again at somebody, yeah, great at anybody. Off. And, um, you know what? Spe I like that you did bring that up because that like that like those deep moments between McLean and Powell make me wonder now with the end of this, um, if we do end up getting into the future into the other ones, let us know. Um, it, do we get to see them again? I hope. I hope we get to see them interact more. Like what did like, you know what I'm saying? Where does it go from here? Because that was like a bond that's like, you know what I'm saying? Like they were going through it. You got one dude that's trying his best to help you out there. This dude's under so much stress. His girl's in here. He's trying to do his best. He's getting hounded by everyone else saying like, oh, we don't, we can't trust this guy or whatever. Da, da, da. He's like, bro, like he's the only one doing anything. I hope we get to, see, I hope in the, in the future films, if we get to them, that those two get to interact again, even if it's like a, like mid movie, like you know, hey, like they kind of interact somehow. They run into each other, whatever the case is, or something. You know, like yeah, he calls Powell or something. Yeah, yeah. The relationship with him and Powell was 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 really well done, and it was really palpable. You could feel the chemistry. I don't know if that was on the casting director's job or the director mm -hmm. or the acting or all three, but Powell and McLean had amazing chemistry. And I also love the touch where they where they had that whole situation with McLean and Hans and Hans was acting, but McLean mm -hmm. was also kind of acting. Dude, that was, that was great. So that was great. Cool. Yeah. So, so cool. Yeah. So with that being said, any final thoughts before we get into the rating? Um, no, man, I think, I think I'm ready to get into the rating. If you are, if you um, want to go first, I guess this time, I think sure, I went first last sure. time. So basically, just so you guys know, we rate from zero to 10, but we never give out a zero and we never give out a 10. You may ask why. Well, because if we give out a zero, we can never, ever say that a movie is worse than that because that's the bottom of the barrel. If we give out a 10, we can never, ever say a movie is better than that because that's the top of the top. And by setting those bars, we limit ourselves to future ratings. So we don't give out a zero. We never give out a 10, uh, but we do do decimals like 9.99999 and so on. Yeah. With that being said, I'll go first. Five is average, six is good, seven is great, eight is beyond that, nine is top tier cinema. I'm gonna give this movie an I'm gonna give this movie an eight. So okay. I'm gonna say beyond great. Mm -hmm. I almost wanna say eight point two five eight point three maybe just because mm -hmm. of that extra um, I'll, I'll go eight point three just because of that extra emotional depth that they added that was mm -hmm. was really well done uh you know and and i do think that was special so i'm gonna up it to an eight point three i thought it was great beyond great for all the reasons i've already listed i love the dynamics i love the the action and the direction and whatnot i think what held me back is that there was a some uh, you know, like the guy not being dead after being hung, hung not for sure what happened a, how he got out of the chain. Like there was a lot to that. I was like, and I think sense. uh on top of that, there were some awfully convenient moments, like uh like Hans Gruber laughing along, like you know, he would have shot you already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, or like right. uh, the guy whose brother died, he had him hit the barrel of his gun on his head. Could've there was no need to keep like it would have been over. But there are explanations you can make. Of course, we saw it. Maybe Hans Gruber thought he had the position, so we enjoyed a laugh right. for a second, and it you know, backfired on him. Don't get me wrong. I understand that there are expl explanations. I'm not calling them plot holes. I'm just saying they were awfully convenient. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that that kind of you know felt like it was almost necessary to push the story forward to, to how, right. they, how they wrote it. And maybe it could have been written a bit differently, but in my opinion, it doesn't really negatively affect the score all that much. A still beyond great movie, a wonderful action film, and definitely a Christmas film. Zay, what would you rate it? 
So I'm not going to give it like an 8.25 or 8.3. I'm actually going to give it an 8. And, you know, I agree with all your sentiments as well. I think one thing that kind of held it back for me, I know it's an action movie. I know it's like this doesn't have to be the most prevalent. However, the relationship between Han, or I mean, between McLean and his wife is like, it was there, but it almost felt like it wasn't. It was like very glazed over. And like, it, so like, it was just, it felt weird. It almost felt like it was just inserted last second just to kind of create this narrative in the background. More and, words than actions. Right. Like you didn't really, like, I didn't really get all that emotion or even like introduce the kids more, like maybe even show like more of the kids, like him having memory, like him thinking about memories with his kids, like being, that's his motivation of that's why I got to survive. Sure. They they did they did pay homage to it with him going through his wallet and he had like the, the letter from his kids. He In had the pictures news situation. Exactly. But I just felt like I was like, you know, maybe you could have benefited from throwing it in just a little bit more. Again, overall, beyond great, absolutely great film. But our job is also to review it and kind of, you know, say, hey, look, it's great. Here's where we think they're, you know, we're not film editors, we're not we're not producers we're not directors so don't <laughs> but that's our opinion and that's my opinion on it again i agree christmas film orthodox absolutely not but still great nonetheless <laughs> yeah I, I definitely agree with your sentiments there uh that that could have been uh handled a little more in depth or uh, mm -hmm. spent a little more time on there might be an extended edition out there that does i'm not yeah, positive maybe. but yeah well with that being said Thank you guys again for being here. This was a great start for the holiday season, and I'm looking forward to more. Zay, I know you have a Twitch. Yes, I do, guys. Uh, come tune to my Twitch. It'll be linked down in the description below. Uh, we've been doing community game nights are back, especially with the holiday seasons. They've been every Friday. Time's not really super specific. Usually start around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So just, uh, you know, if you want to give me a follow, turn on that notification. It'll let you know when I'm live. Come tune in. Come say hi. It's a great time. And we play a lot of games with people in chat as well. Um, and, well, more specifically in the Discord. So if you want to play some games with us, that's your chance. Come tune into, this, into the Twitch. You can use the command exclamation mark Discord. It'll give you the link. Join on in. And on community nights, you might get a chance to come play some games with us. So feel free to tune in, guys. Always a great time. I always have Cam on there. So we're always, you have our dynamic mixed in with our other friends' dynamic as well. Yeah, check it out, guys. It's a great time. With that being said, thank you guys again for being here. Thank you for the support. We'll see you on the next one. And peace. peace.